everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Cherry and we have a little change of scenery. The Disney tree is up. In Vlogmas I will be doing a full view of all of the different Disney Christmas ornaments that I have. So stay tuned for that. I know that there's some of you going to be like, hey you need to show me that tree. I'm on you. Don't even worry. <laughs> Before we get into this video, we need to talk about this sweatshirt. Okay, it says, but daddy, I love him. Oh, there's glitter on it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, this is from My Oh My Supply Co. It's a brand new shirt. I bought it for myself for my birthday because it was made for me. And also, <laughs> these ears I made myself are one of a kind. I have, um, I've had this infinity scarf that was, it's like an iridescent. Let me take these off and get a, give you guys a closer look. Uh, it's like an iridescent pink scarf and I was like I just want to make ears out of that scarf and I've had the scarf for like six months no joke and it's been sitting in my craft room in a bin and I was on the phone with Nikki um, I'll link her channel down below she's my best friend seriously introverted and I was like okay we're making these ears and so when we talk we talk for hours and uh, she basically watched me make these ears through um, or heard me make these ears through the wonderful world of technology. So anyway, <laughs> so this is my little birthday outfit wearing that uh, that I made myself. These are my birthday present to myself along with this really amazing, but daddy, I love him. I will link this sweatshirt down below. They also have a really amazing uh, mermaid's, mermaid grotto. I believe it's Mermaid Grotto shirt as well that I also bought. It's baby blue. Um, I wear a lot of sweatshirts. It's really cold here, so um, I like to be cozy, and this was definitely right up my alley. Anyway, I've gone on way too long about Little Mermaid sweatshirts. We don't, we're not here to talk about Little Mermaid sweatshirts today. Well, I was, but... <laughs> Um, I was tagged by Enchanted Rita. If you haven't seen her channel, I will link her channel down below. She's a super sweet Disney YouTuber who actually lives in Southern California and gets to go to Disneyland all the time, lucky lady. And um, she tagged me in the Walt Disney World Would You Rather tag. This tag was started by the Disney sisters who are on the other side of the coast in Florida and their channel is super cute too. I will also link them down below. But this is basically the game, Would You Rather? And it pits two attractions, shows, or what have you at Walt Disney World against each other and then you have to decide which you would rather do. So let's get started. Okay, first one. Festival of the Lion King or Finding Nemo the Musical. Okay. You guys might not like me for this, but I'm gonna say it. I like me some Finding Nemo. And the reason why is because the song Big Blue World, I love that song so much and it will get stuck in your head for days. And the other thing that I do like, I feel like the Finding Nemo musical is more of like a stage production, like a Broadway show type of production. And I really, really enjoy that where I feel like Lion King is more of a circus-esque, not that it's bad, I love the Lion King show, but it's more of like a circus-esque type of show and I prefer the stage shows a little bit more. Next question, this one's hard. Expedition Everest or Rock and Roller Coaster? I have two answers to this. If we are talking about at night, 100% Expedition Everest. We recently went on it, my uh, friend Chris and I recently went on it at night and it was totally, 
totally different and it was beautiful and the mountain was lit up and I was like, this ride at night is everything. I wish I would have known that prior because Jesse and I have been there at night several times and we never rode Everest. We never thought to ride Everest at night. If you guys get the opportunity, do it. It's completely different. It's completely different. So I would say at night, for sure. During the day, 100% rock and roller coaster because it's air conditioned. <laughs> Is that sad? Um, but yeah, I prefer an air conditioned ride during the hot days. Okay, next, this is gonna be controversial. Don't come at me in the comments, or if you do, that's okay. You know what, you just, you tell me what you think, okay? Um, I'm cool with I can handle it. It's a small world or Peter Pan's flight. It's a small world, no question. I'm sorry. I know. I know I'm sorry. Okay. The reasoning why. Small World is such a classic Disney attraction. Classic, classic, classic. I love it. It's the song is awesome. I love the concepts behind it. I love that Walt Disney had a lot to do with the development of that ride. I just, um, it's one of the, you know, one of the ones that he brought to the World's Fair, or wanted to bring to the World's Fair. Um, so I love, 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 love that attraction. Peter Pan's Flight, I feel like is overrated. It's a very short ride. The one in Walt Disney World is not as good as Disneyland in my opinion. Um, it's just not as vibrantly colored. Um, and also, the other issue I have with Peter Pan's Flight is, the line is always so freaking long. It's crazy, it's like impossible, and it's hard to get fast passes for it. And really, I don't wanna spend my fast passes on that particular ride, because I feel like it's a little bit underwhelming. Small World, it's like, oh, five minute wait, okay, I can go, I can do that. <laughs> so that's why I choose Small World. This one is not a difficult question for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you anyway, and then you guys, you can guess. Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid, or Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Hmm, let me think about that. Uh, nope, don't have to. Okay, Little Mermaid, done. Where can you see Eric and Daddy in the same place? That ride. Next question. Dumbo the Flying Elephant, or the Barnstormer? Again, no question. I've talked about this in another video. Dumbo, to me, is Disneyland, Disney World. No question. Like, that when I see Dumbo, I think of the parks. That was my one of my first rides when I was a little girl. It just brings back so many magical memories of like, me being there for the first time and seeing it and it was so magical. And so for me, I have a very, very sentimental place for Dumbo in regards to it, repre it, he represents the parks for me. Um, and I know a lot of you, it was really interesting, I asked the question, and if you haven't answered this, please, please answer down below. What character reminds you of the parks? Like what brings that magic and that joy to you when you see a character? Um, in a lot of ways, Figment also does that for me. Um, Dumbo, obviously, it's more like Magic Kingdom. Figment, obviously, it's more like Epcot themed, which makes sense. Um, but I'm really curious to know like what, what represents the parks to you in a character. So tell me down below. Next, Kilimanjaro Safari or Cali River Rapids. So I don't like getting wet. I absolutely love rides like Splash Mountain, but I am a, I wear jeans all the time. I, I don't like wearing shorts, it's just not my thing, so I wear like jeans or capris. So to me, like, the thought of going on a wet ride is just like, ooh, no thank you. Um, but when these two rides are pitted against each other, I have no, no doubt in my mind, I would always choose Kilimanjaro Safaris. I love animals. That ride is so fun. I love seeing the giraffes in the savannah. It's just so beautiful. There was one time I went on Kilimanjaro Safaris where the rhino was literally almost under 
the ride vehicle. It was so scary. He was so big. I was like, is this supposed to happen? Um, and everyone in the, in the ride vehicle was super duper duper nervous. So <laughs> I've had some pretty interesting experiences on that ride, but it's a classic Animal Kingdom ride. So no question about that. This one also might be, well, might not be controversial. It might be Space Mountain or Big Thundy. Big Thundy, love the wildest ride in the wilderness. There's just something about it. It's a fun, traditional roller coaster and I really, really enjoy it. If we were comparing Big Thunder and Space Mountain Disneyland, I would probably choose Space Mountain Disneyland because in Disneyland you get to ride side by side with your friend and there's a little bit more room in the ride vehicle. I do, I'm a big person, I'm 5'10", I'm, I'm a large lady. Um, and so it's not super comfortable to ride in the Space Mountain in Disney World. Just being real. Astro Orbiter or Aladdin's Magic Carpet? So, we rode Astro Orbiter for the first time this last trip in uh, October with Jesse. That ride is kind of fast and a little bit frightening. So we rode it at night during, um, like right before fireworks. It wasn't during fireworks, right before. But the castle was all illuminated and man, I gotta say, I really, really liked it. I will 100% ride it again. So I would actually say I'm actually leaning towards Astro Orbiter. Aladdin has a special place in my heart. It's, you know, one of those rides that I feel like is kind of classic Disney World too. Um, so I really, really do enjoy that ride and I love Aladdin as well, but I'm gonna give it to Astro Orbiter on that one. Okay, next, Tomorrowland Speedway or the Carousel of Progress? <laughs> Carousel of Progress, no question. I will never go on the Tomorrowland Speedway. I just have no interest in it. Also, I hate the smell of gasoline, and I don't know, you guys have to tell me down below if you are like this. Like, when I go on those rides that smell like gasoline, my hair smells like it, and it drives me crazy. Like, I hate having smell in my hair, like cigarette, like, you know when you're around people that smoke cigarettes or what have you, and that smell gets up in your hair? Mm -mm. Nope, not doing it. Okay, next. The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh or the Mad Tea Party. Okay, I'm obsessed with the Winnie the Pooh ride. Why? I couldn't tell you. I just love it. I love Winnie the Pooh and there's something that just makes me so, so happy about that simple storybook ride. I just love that. So I'm gonna give it to Winnie the Pooh. Now, if I need Instagram photos or if I need vlog footage of like us having fun, Mad Tea Party, no question. <laughs> the Mad Tea Party is fun, but Winnie the Pooh has a very special place in my heart. You know, do it for the vlog, do it for the gram, over in the tea party, and then do it for your heart up in the Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Next. Splash Mountain or Frozen Ever After? Ooh, okay. This one was hard for me. Um, but I'm gonna have to give it to Frozen. I find myself often watching vlog footage of that ride because I miss it. Um, there's something so beautiful about how they did that ride. Um, that I really love, especially Sven. They did Sven so, so, so well in that ride. I love, love him. And the, anim the animatronics in that ride are so far superb in comparison to others. I don't love the screen faces. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, right? It's like they're, it's a flat screen and then they have like animated movement that is projected on a screen. Not in love with that. I understand why they do it. Um, but how they did Sven and Olaf with the animatronics was out of this world, especially Sven. So I'm gonna have to go with Frozen Ever After. Also, you get less wet on Frozen Ever After. Now, I will say, Splash Mountain, I absolutely love it, but gonna give it to Frozen. Next, Soarin' Around the World or Test Track? Soarin', no question. Now, Test Track, I do really enjoy. I like the 
Um, I like the cue of Test Track, but Cars Radiator Springs Racers ruined Test Track for me because it's so, I mean obviously they're similar because they were the same ride pretty much, but it just doesn't do it for me after I rode Radiator Springs. I just can't, I can't get it, give it to Test Track. Um, so Soren, classic. Soren is so wonderful. I loved it when it was Soren over California. The thing that I really love about this Soren is so many different smells. I just love that. And actually, I just ended up buying a uh, Soren candle and it smells amazing. It smells just like Fiji and it's so funny. It's like every now and again when I'm like missing the parks, I'll just like open it and smell it. Oh, it smells so nice. So no question, Soren. Next, Beauty and the Beast or The Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Hmm, wonder which one I'm gonna pick. <laughs> uh, duh. So the reason I choose Little Mermaid, there are a few. The scene, uh, I'm spoiler alert, fast forward so much if you don't wanna know what happens in this movie. <laughs> but when she gets legs, she does like a, like a oh, 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 spinny motion and then the dress, oh, love. That part is amazing. And then there's the part where Eric picks her up like the dainty little princess that she is, spins her around, makes out with her, and then, and then Max shows up and you're like, what? All of the fun things. Also, animatronic Ursula, equal parts terrifying and hilarious, love it. Plus, that attraction has bubbles. No other attraction has bubbles. Bubbles everywhere, love, love it. I mean, obviously, I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan, so I'm very biased, but give it a shot if you're an old HS. Try it out, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Beauty and the Beast or the Little Voyage of the Little Mermaid. I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose on this one. Okay, the next question. Happily Ever After or Fantasmic? Simple, Happily Ever After, the best fireworks show that I think Disney's ever put on. Um, I loved Wishes, but Happily Ever After touches my heart. I love watching it. I've made it a tradition that the first night that we are in Disney World, that's what we do. We go and have Casey's on the hub. We ride a few rides. We go to Happily Ever After. And that has just um, become so special to me. And that show, there are parts in that show that are just like so moving and inspirational and magical and really everything that Disney really is. And so they just did such a great job on that show. I'm so, so pleased with it. So I definitely have to say happily ever after. So um, it says to tag a few people because um, that was the last question. So I'm gonna tag a few others. I'm going to tag Mariah from Mariah's Whole New World. I'm also going to tag my friend Jessica Meredith at Jessica Meredith. And then I also want to tag Daphne at Thomas Ever After. I'm very curious to see what you ladies have to say about these would you rather questions. Um, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanna know what your answers are, so if you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram, go ahead and answer these questions there. I'm gonna leave it in the description below so you have them. Also, I wanna say that Vlogmas is starting on Saturday, guys. I'm so excited. There's so, so much content coming your way from my channel, so if you haven't subscribed, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell as well. That'll tell you when I post videos so you know when to tune in. So I'm really looking forward to spending this next month with you every single day until, until Christmas Day. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs. Also, please subscribe down below and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. TTFN, <laughs> bye.